It is a beautiful day here in Missouri, and we're moving right along on the 67 Ballant build. If you didn't catch the last video, I'll link it up there. We've already got two coats of filler. Now, this isn't really thick filler. Most of the dents were out. There is a part in the back where the dents are not necessarily as nice as some people would say. They would say, hey, cut it out. There was a little bit of dent, but none of the filler is much more than maybe an H in eighth inch thick on the back and up front it's even thinner than that so alan is going to knock this down some with a guide coat then we're going to go ahead and glaze it and do a final block and it will be ready to go to epoxy primer goal is to do the same thing with this fender down there is where i got to knock out the rest of the old filler i'm going to knock it out with a chisel you're going to see me do it here and i'm going to go ahead and media blast it that way it's ready for alan if there's any dent repair he needs to do, he'll do that. And then we'll go ahead and throw filler on it. And that will be prepped. Hopefully, by the end of this episode, we'll have this whole side, except for the driver's side door, in glaze and ready for primer. With that being said, it's not going to happen with me standing here yapping to you. So let's get to it. side it just needs to be hit with some 80 grit and it's going to be ready to be pulled and have filler put on it and get ready to go i want to keep moving i'm just going to go ahead and jump on over to the passenger side here start hitting any of the big spots that may have filler on it i don't believe there's that many i do know that the front fender is kind of like some swiss cheese like the back driver's side fender it looks like somebody decided to beat on it with a hammer or something so i know alan will get that as straight as possible plus there's some filler that austin had put down i'm gonna go ahead and take that light coat off i'm gonna check and see if there's any other big spots to take off on the passenger side that way next time i push it outside to media blast it I can start working on the passenger side as well. Things are really moving along, and I know the more I have prepped for Alan, the better it's going to be for him because as he's putting filler down, he can put it down in multiple spots and come back and work it while other parts are curing. That's going to allow him to get much more done. So I'm going to go ahead and push ahead. Since I have to go to Denver this week, I don't know how much we're going to be able to get done but I'm gonna to push to get as much as I can. I'll leave in two days. So let's continue with this passenger side and get this rocked out. You see, the key is you want your car to look good while you're making your car look good. And what else is better than, I can't even say it with a straight face. What else is better than some metallic guide coat? <laughs> uh, we forgot the guide coat. So Alan just went ahead and lightly sprayed that like you would spray black spray paint. Alan used the metallic stuff. He's going to knock this down. If you guys remember where we ended in the last video, that needed to be knocked down some. So he's going to get all this stuff straightened out while I grind there. I'm going to throw you on a bit of a time lapse, give you some B-roll. We'll be back with you in a minute. doing here Alan uh, making a body line seeing uh, it looks decent but it's still in just a little bit trying to figure out how to compensate for it because I've got a lot more building to do if that's the case Let's... how low is it um, I'm still low in here gotcha so what I've been shaping as you can tell here is a line I've been making and with the long block, it looks pretty good, but until you actually, oh, sighting down, it looks pretty good. But the up and down, 
We'll uh, block that until it starts hitting the tape and then reverse and put tape down here so I have a nice crisp body line. Let's get a quick update for you. Alan has got this body line coming in real nice right here. Still got some of the guide coat here, so I bet you he's going to catch up and do this here after he gets done with the front right there. That's that other spot he put on earlier. And then as you saw with the B-roll, I did get some welds down there. They are some of the ugliest booger welds that you can find. Got him! <laughs> uh, but it's gonna work, so that's all that matters. Hey, it <laughs> might work. Hey, if it fills the hole, right? That's all that matters? As long as it fills the hole. So as long as it fills the hole. That's all I'm saying. We almost got this fender ready for Alan. I wanna get those spots ground down there, and then it'll be ready for him to throw some filler on it. Looks like he's got the guide coat down here. Let's take a look. So this is looking pretty good here. It might be getting ready for a uh, glaze here soon. You'll glaze it all at once when you glaze it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of filler on this little spot right here, and then maybe on this little piece of tape. Uh, that little piece of tape, and then a little bit of filler right here, because I don't I don't want to glaze over the middle little, little spots like that. And then, um, but yeah, then this is good. Most of this is good. This is good. Um, and then most of the fender is good too. So knocking it down is getting there. Might throw down some glaze tonight. Maybe it's going to be uh, it's going to be about seven o'clock. All right, enough shenanigans. I called you. you know, if you let them shenan once, they're gonna shenan again. <laughs> yes, I was calling your name, shenanigans. Anyway, enough shenanigans, we're gonna get back to work. Things are moving along pretty friggin' well. Definitely could be better, but definitely could be worse. We're excited with it. And uh, let's just go ahead and see what else happens tonight. Maybe we get some glaze down, maybe we don't, but regardless, we're making progress. And that's all that matters. Here I have to finish some of these up, but I've got these welds all welded down looking good. So this spot right here, I'm gonna go ahead and lead up um, as well as some other spots that I gotta lead. As you can tell, that's a booger there I need to grind and a booger there I need to grind. I am not a welder. I never claim to be a welder. I'm a grinder. And on the note, you can catch me on the grinder app. Ha! Got him! So Alan said if you like his 3D printing, he has a page that's only for his fans. <laughs> <Got he. laughs> but on a serious note, Alan has really got this looking good here. Looks like he might get to the glaze stage. I believe he already put the filler here and hit it with the guide coat as well. So this actually might be ready uh, for glaze as well. Austin got this all hit with the 80 grit. That 80 grit's gonna help any filler stick. We're gonna need some there. This spot is pretty bad, and then there's a low spot right there 
that we spoke about earlier. And I think I'm going to get these two ground down. That way, if he does want to put filler on these two tonight as well, he can. I believe he's going to try and throw down some glaze. I don't know if we're going to sand it out. So things are moving along nicely. Let's see if we can get this glaze down and uh, just continue plugging away. So Alan just sprayed a bit of our metallic guide coat down. He's going to go ahead and 180 where the guide coat is. And then we're going to 180 everything. He is going to go ahead and glaze it down. We'll get this side all glazed up tonight. It's looking damn good. So he did add a little bit more filler up in here. Here, so he didn't have to use as much glaze. He used a little more filler here so he didn't have to use much as much glaze and same here. He's going to use the guide coat, block it down, and then DA it all or at least around the block areas with the 180 and it will be blow it off. It'll be ready to glaze. It is moving right along. He's hitting it with 220 right now. We didn't have any 180 for the DA so he's hitting it with 220. It's kind of catching all the scratches on the metal that's around it. I mean, it feels really smooth. You can't even tell where there's filler and where the metal is. Like, of course, that's the way it should be. And then we'll hit it all with glaze. It'll be good. Look at that. So we got this side knocked out pretty good. Austin got all those welds ground down real nice and good. So filler could go over them. We'll get all of this blasted this week. We're moving right along. Things are looking really good. I'm super excited. Leave a comment down below what color you think we should paint it. Right now might be a good time to let you know if you want to follow this build, hit the subscribe button down below. It does not cost anything. Now let's go in here and get this glazed up. Catch you back here next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Peace.